Now for the last couple of days, we've been playing around with the Hilux Conquest on the dirt. Yep, we're having a bit of fun with that model. But now we're on to the serious business. We've got another Hilux, but this one is meant to work. What we have here is the Toyota Hilux Cargo 4x2 with a manual transmission. Now, at first glance, you'll know that it's called cargo because it has that huge cargo box in the back, which we'll get to later. This is actually built upon the cabin chassis version of the Toyota Hilux, their venerable pickup truck. It only comes as a single cab. Uh, it comes with you know unpainted bumpers, steel wheels, unpainted pretty much uh, all the other trim and things on the outside. It also only comes in white. And if, you, if you're very familiar with the Hilux line, you'll know that the look is the pre-facelift model. This is the same as the one that was launched in 2015 in terms of you know, overall design. As I mentioned earlier, um, the Hilux cargo is based on the single cab uh, cabin chassis variant of the Hilux for the important reason that if this was a double cab, like you know the Conquest, the, that kind of thing, the cab would end maybe right about here, consuming quite a bit of space. So Toyota wanted to get the maximum cargo capacity um, in this vehicle. So instead, they opted for the single cab, and then it gave them a vehicle that, you know, with, with the box uh, and the body, everything, you know, built together. It's just a little bit under 5.5 meters long, uh, 1.8 meters wide, and a little over 2 meters tall. Um, one thing that's important to note here is that most, uh, if you divide you know, over the wheelbase, uh, over the rear axle, most of it is actually inboard of the, of the axle, which means it's, if you're loading cargo, you can put all the heavy stuff in here and it won't affect your handling uh, too much. Now, as you look around the side of the vehicle, clearly there are no windows, no nothing. It's just plain sheet metal. There are some configurations of the Hilux, uh, com you know, the commercial grade Hilux models. Uh, like the FX, which has windows and dual AC. This one has none of that. It's a simple panel van. Um, you look around you know, the lower portion, you'll see a very um, old school uh, fuel lid uh, for, the, for the diesel tank, which is right under there. Uh, you look under here, of course, you've got your steel wheels, 15 inch steel wheels, and four leaf springs uh, to be able to carry quite a bit of cargo. Uh, Toyota says the Hilux cargo in this configuration can carry um, just over 1,000 kilograms or one metric ton, which is actually plenty for a vehicle such as this. Uh, if you look around the back, again, yeah, no windows. Think of the Hilux cargo as kind of a blank canvas for you to be able to put the decals and the design of your business so people know who's making a delivery. Now, as you can see, uh, there is, of course, a big door in the back. It measures about 41 inches uh, well, wide. Um, when you do pop it open, it goes away all the way around here. There is a bump stop here in the back to prevent it from, you know, stretching out way too much. It'll just bring it in, you know, gently. Um, and then you've got another door here, which is about 20 inches uh, wide. So what you have here is effectively a 60-40 a split uh, between the two doors to give you full access uh, to the inside of the cargo. Now, in terms of dimensions, it's just over 1.6 meters wide, just under 1.3 meters uh, tall, and can accommodate items up to, I think, 2.3 meters long. Um, to give you a frame of reference, you will not be able to lay 4 by 8 plywood boards flat on the floor because uh, 2.3 meters, it's not even 8 feet yet. It's like 7.5 feet. So here's the engine bay of the new Hilux Cargo. As you can see, there's really not much to report here. Um, it does have the 2GD FTV and it's a 2.4 liter turbo diesel that makes uh, 150 PS and 343 Newton meters of torque. It has a five speed manual and it's only driving uh, the rear wheels. There's no four wheel drive uh, version in you know, this variant. Uh, one of the reasons we wanted to open the engine bay though was to confirm if it had one key safety feature. And no, we're not talking about the airbags. What we're really confirming is the presence of an anti-lock braking system.
Now, this Hilux is really meant to be a worker, so it's really functional. Everything about it is about, you know, getting really the job done. For instance, um, the seats, it's not fabric. This is vinyl, so it's easier to wipe. Even the floor, instead of a carpet, it's wrapped in, well, a kind of a vinyl layer all around. So when it comes to cleaning, it should be a lot easier. It has, still has uh, the two layer or, or the top and lower glove compartments right there. That's going to be very useful in a vehicle like this. Uh, has a pocket there. It even retained um, the cup holders on either side uh, of the AC vent. So that's going to be useful if you're on a long delivery. Toyota did omit some of the features like, you know, all the buttons on the steering wheel um, and some of the functions on the, on the stocks because it doesn't have fog lamps, doesn't have, you know, the, the adjustable intermittent or automatic system on the wipers. Um, it doesn't have uh, leather here, it's urethane, which it's okay, it's simple. Uh, urethane shift knob, a simple parking brake. Um, it does not have any of the, you know, the buttons uh, or features. There's no traction control button here, so it doesn't have that. But it does have ABS and dual front airbags. One more thing we have to point out is the door, because uh, here you'll see that they've removed uh, the, the power side mirror adjustment. They've removed the central locks and they've removed the power windows. Yep, these are Powys windows. But thankfully, they did not omit the power steering system for a model like this. And also, if you look closer, you have a nice tuned-in audio system for, you know, for a cargo variant. It has USB, uh, it has a CD player, and it even has Bluetooth, so you can make and take calls on the go. Also, you have an AC system to keep things cool for everyone inside. So we're inside the new Hilux cargo. Let's take it out. Okay, uh, this being a manual, step on the clutch and then ignition. Huh, that is actually pretty smooth for a, for a commercial type truck. Uh, one thing I will note though is that it's also very quiet. Um, I mean, outside, yeah, the engine is making, you know, the, the normal uh, diesel clatter expected of you know a turbo diesel but inside it's actually quiet now a vehicle like the Hilux cargo is going to be inevitably compared against um, the prime competitor the, the top dog in the class which is the Mitsubishi L300 the Mitsubishi L300 does have a significant advantage over the Hilux cargo in that it is a cab over vehicle there is more space in the back uh, for a longer body so that's why when you when you look at the box of the cargo, it's a bit short because having the engine in front and then you know a single cab here, it consumes quite a bit of space uh, on you know on the same kind of you know same size of a chassis. Uh, just by the way it drives, it's a lot quieter than uh, I would have expected. It's not as clattery inside. Uh, it's definitely smoother. The clutch is nice and light. The power steering is like any other Hilux. It's you know nice and light even. At, even at low speeds, the gear shift feels pretty positive, you know, because the L300 has that column shift here um, that, you know, it does, it does give you more space here, but it's also, you know, it can be a bit more difficult compared to this. But there are some trade-offs with a vehicle like the Hilux Cargo. For instance, because this one has no, uh, it's, it's a windowless uh, box, really cargo box, the rear view mirror is practically useless because you can't really see anything there i don't even know why they retain it they should have just put a kind of a rear view camera in its place so right now it's pretty much just a vanity mirror um also one more thing toyota says that this is supposed to be a three-seater front row uh there is however a problem with that because like i mentioned earlier uh since the shifter is here and not on the column it consumes the space in the middle even though they designated a three-seater um, unless you have two really thin employees that, uh, and one of which has no legs, it's going to be difficult to get three in here. 
Oh, and as a testament to that fact, there are actually three seat belts uh, here. So I have one here, uh, which is a 3-point ELR. And then you have another one there, which is also a 3-point ELR. And there is a lap belt right here, right here in the middle. So if you actually show that they're supposed to be, they made a provision for someone to sit here on top of, um, well, the handbrake, which is going to be weird and it's going to be painful. So we rarely get to experience um, the more commercial grade variants of, you know, different manufacturers. Now this one is, of course, one of the first ones we've driven. Uh, the other one being the L300 and a few other before, but uh, even then, I mean, for a commercial truck, it actually feels uh, pretty good. It's like um, if you're a business owner and then, you know, your driver calls in sick for the day, you can drive this, you know, no problem. You just have to keep in mind that uh, it is a manual, which actually it's okay because the clutch is nice and light. The shifts are uh, actually feel very positive. Um, you just have to be mindful about, you know, the, the locking everything because when you lock here, uh, the right side doesn't lock either. You've also got a separate lock for the for the door in the back. So those are just a couple of things to keep in mind. But overall, the aircon is cool. Power steering is uh, it's comfortable. You've got Bluetooth. You've got an, actually a fairly nice audio system for a commercial vehicle. Uh, and then a manual that, yeah, this just gets the job done. Powys windows. Now, uh, the Hilux is going to be a great addition to the commercial vehicle options out there uh, for small and medium enterprises. This is really going to be a viable option uh, in our market. Uh, if you're looking for a different kind of uh, commercial version Hilux, you can opt for the Hilux FX, which has an, you know, an FB type body in the back. If you want to be able to configure uh, a Hilux to your uh, business needs, you can opt for the cab and chassis version and then you can have a structure or a different body fitted on the back uh, to suit your liking. But if this is the version of the Hilux you want, this Hilux cargo retails for 936,000 pesos in its current configuration. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do us a favor and tap that thumbs up button below. And so you don't miss any of our videos in the future, you can tap the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you get alerted when we have a new video up. You can also follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. This is Vince, and I'm the editor-in-chief and delivery guy of AutoIndustria.com. <laughs>